Okay, we are live. Are we live? We are actually live. Yeah. We are live. So today, my name is Felicita Ovaje and I am a makeup artist based in Winnipeg and I am going to be talking to Samdi and he publishes books. And I, we're just going to be talking about um, undercharging as a new business owner. Like what is it? something you should do when you open your business, when you first start your business, is it a good strategy or it's not? So I just wanted to know what Osamdi's opinion is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first off, I think we're on two channels, right? So um, we have Facebook Live here and YouTube there. Yeah. So, okay, if you're already on my Facebook, you already know who I am. Those who don't know, my name is Osamdi Arunde. I'm the founder of Corum Publishing. And uh, we're a publishing company in Canada and Winnipeg, and we specialize in working with business professionals. And our focus is really helping business professionals use a book to grow their audience. So that's our major thing. So pretty much we're a marketing company that uses books as a marketing tool, right? So, yeah. It's a little bit about me. And um, I guess for your question, on the charging, uh, it's, uh, it's a very interesting uh, topic. So this is my perspective on on, on the charging or you know when it comes to pricing your product how you should go about that this is something I wish someone told me of when I first started business the the, the, the job of of a sale right mm -hmm, yeah is to get a customer not the other way around yeah that's sort of like my answer and summary so, so let me break that down let's let me kind of so let's understand what we're talking about mm -hmm. a lot of times a lot of entrepreneurs they think that the job of a customer is to make a sale Right? Mm -hmm. So you're trying to get a customer so you can make a sale. Yeah. The problem with that strategy is that you always need to find a new customer to make a sale. Yeah. Because that's your formula, right? Get a customer for a sale. So, yeah. so what I've come to realize in my years in business is that it's actually the other way around. The job of a sale is to get you a customer. Yeah. So the key there. So, so, so look at this because I can see the look it's like what? Yeah, like, yeah, I'm getting excited from that, but yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So, so, so th this is what we're saying now. The job of a customer, or the job of a sale, is mm -hmm. to get a customer. Yeah. Right? So the job of the sale is to make a customer. What are we talking about? By the time you understand the long-term value of a customer, mm -hmm. you start understanding that the, 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 the most value is not in the sale. The most value is in the customer, customer and getting yeah. the customer. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter what you make upfront on that one sale. Big mm -hmm. deal to pay you $100, $500. But if you understand long-term value, you know that this client really isn't this $100 she's spending with me. This client really is a $50,000 a year client. Do you know what begins to happen? It starts to change the way perceive things. What do I, do I end up doing? I end up saying, look, even if it costs me $20 to get you, understand this, because we're talking about undercharging now, mm -hmm. but my philosophy is that sometimes even going into a loss to get a customer is worth it. it. Yeah. So not just even undercharging, undercharging is great. Mm -hmm. I've actually had scenarios where I had to go in a loss to get a customer because mm -hmm. I understood the long-term value, value. Well, of that client. Awesome. That's that's a really nice point, but what do you think about undercharging when it comes to reducing your prices? What do you think, like when you have clients and you're looking at the books that you need to sell, and you're like, maybe we should come up with this first edition and you know, do ten dollars, yeah. and let's see how. What do you think? Yeah. How, does it affect the business? Is it a good strategy? Again, I think it's a great strategy if you have a long-term plan for that client. Now, if you only have one product then it changes the whole dynamics. Mm -hmm. But if you have a plan for that client, and you have a sales funnel in a sense to take them through, mm -hmm. then it's worth it. Mm -hmm. So again, it's very unique to what you're doing, doing and what your goal is. Mm -hmm. So uh, me knowing that you're buying a book, but that book, you're gonna get in a webinar through that book, free. But that webinar is gonna sell you a course that's $1,000. That course is going to get you my group coaching where you end up spending $5,000. It's going to get you working with us when you end up spending excess of $10,000. Do you get my point? So giving you that book for cheap, I will give you for free. Because, because in I, the long term, I know you're that, going to spend more. I know that in the long term, you're going to... And if you look at all the gurus in the industry, I mean, mm -hmm. name them, Brenda Bouchard, uh, Tiab Eka, uh, Tony Robbins. Mm -hmm. They all do it, but what people don't know that you see adverse online, free book. You don't understand what they're doing. They're willing to give up a sale mm -hmm. to gain a customer. 
So when it comes to the process, the mm -hmm. value of the customer is a bigger value that than the sale. sale. That, that makes a lot of sense. I am so happy that we got to interview us somebody today. <laughs> Thank you. And from a makeup artist perspective, I think on the charging can, it can make or break your business. It can give you clientele and then when you decide to jack up your prices to earn what you really want to earn, then your clientele can either stay or leave and it can actually affect you negatively because when you undercharge, you just attract the cheap clientele. So what happens is when you increase your prices, you might lose clientele and have to start again from scratch. So um, I think from our conversation here, we've been able to find out that, you know, it depends on your business and depends on where you want to go. So I guess that's what it's going to be for the vlog for today. Yeah. I enjoyed doing this. And... And one, last thing, and one last thing, I want, I want, so to cut show, one last yeah. thing I want, I want people to actually listen to understand that. Sometimes we have to be very careful when we talk about pricing because there's nothing wrong with saying I only want to serve the top of the top. Like mm -hmm. my product, for example, we are uh, a boutique firm. So our charges mm -hmm. are higher than normal. Mm -hmm. But again, the value we put in. So I think the key now is not what you charge. I think the key you should be thinking about is how much value are you willing to give? Yeah. And for me, it's about 10x. That's the way I see it. Charge 10 times less than what you offer. So does that make sense? So if your offer really is $100, then charge $10. So my point is, if you want to charge $10 times that by 100, give $1,000 worth of value. Okay. And I think that that way, automatically, you start to filter because it's like, you, you know what I mean? It's like, because I've mm -hmm. seen a lot of people say, hey, I want to charge a high price. But you see the service they're giving, and you're like, come on, this isn't it's fair. fair. Yeah. So my point is that you have a great point, but I want people to listen to understand that, look, if you're going to now say, look, I want to charge premium, then be willing and be ready to give clients premium, extraordinary, extraordinary. service. He just said it there. If you want to raise your prices or you want to charge something, make sure that your, your service, the value is 10 times that. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. My name is Felicita and I run Felicita Artistry and once again this week on the vlog we are happy to share with you some business tips and keep stay tuned next month we're gonna have another guest speaker and this is something I want to start this is one of this is something I want to grow so if you're an entrepreneur and you want to say something about the business world you want to talk about business issues hit me up and i will leave my links below and i can't wait to do this again next month thank bye you guys for what for thank you thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> bye guys i'll talk to you bye soon bye guys